I've been thinking about it since last May, and I've been looking at it from every different po possible angle, every bar, every note, thinking, how, which way will I do it? Should I do it this way, that way? I had to do that because, um, you know, there's, as I say, there's been no one else has played it. No one else, no one else to give any other guidelines. no one else has played this piano concerto by Franz Liszt is that the music was lost for nearly 150 years. It was discovered by a musicologist who took it to the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, which asked Janina Fielkowska to give it, at last, its world premiere. I was given it in the offices of the Chicago Symphony. That's how, how do I phrase this? I was emotionally overcome, and I never thought that that I would be that way. I mean, my hands were shaking, I broke out into a sweat, and I looked at it, and it looked a blur. At first thought, it also looked impossible to play. Then I took it back to the hotel, and I heard it in my head, and I, you know, and, and by the time I looked at it with the piano, I was very happy about it, because it lies so beautifully under your hands. compositions by Franz Liszt. How did it happen that this one composition was overlooked for so long? These are the photocopies here that I was given while I was in Budapest by the curator of the Liszt Museum there. Uh, these are all that I've had to work with thus far because I haven't had the opportunity to go to Leningrad to consult the originals. This is about... Jay Rosenblatt made the discovery when he was in Europe doing research on Liszt's two piano concertos, the ones that were known. As a good scholar, he was checking all sources. One source by itself wouldn't have done it. You had to have all pieces of the puzzle. You had to have the single page in Nuremberg. You had to have the autograph manuscript, as much of it as there is in Leningrad. And then you need the copyist manuscript in Weimar. Each source supplements the other. And that's one of the primary reasons why the concerto was overlooked for so many years, uh, simply the fact that it was so spread out. Even so, luck played a part. And then I began looking at the first piano concerto that was right in front of me, and I pulled open to the middle of the manuscript where I found the musical material, and it was like the world around me closed, and I just stared at it, and I said, this is it. This is the new piano concerto. Rosenblatt took his discovery to the Chicago Symphony Orchestra and associate conductor Kenneth Jean. I thought, yes, we should do it. We definitely should do it. And the more I thought about it, the more I said, yes, imagine, you know, imagine having that opportunity to do a world premiere of a, of a composer that's long dead, that's some, somebody that we only read about in history books. I mean, it's like discovering another uh, 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 Shakespeare play or something like that. I can also put my own imprint on it, that's true. And then everyone who comes after me can change everything, but uh, this is mine, this first one is mine. It's ours, too. More than a century after the composer's death, piano concerto in B-flat major, opus posthumous by Franz Liszt, had its world premiere in Chicago last Thursday night.